Okay, we're connecting. Are we live? I've got to find a way of working out whether I'm live or not. I need my dashboard up, which I don't have. Uh, well, let's have a look. Well, anyway, um, this is a follow up to the live stream we had on Wednesday. Um, thank you for coming. If you came, it was great fun, slightly stressful. Um, but I'm just doing some clicking around. I have no idea how I can get to. Okay, well, it's unlisted, so. This is a follow up. I wanted to take the painting, um, which I wasn't particularly happy with, but I think it had some good bits, and take it a bit further and really, really push it. Um, so I'm probably going to ruin it, but since it's not going to be something I'm going to put on the wall or sell or do anything with, um, I can play about with it and do whatever I want. So let's switch over to Canvas Cam. There we go, canvas cam, bit laggy, let's see how this goes, hmm, uh, we'll see, let's keep going and, and, and see what happens. So, now this went fine, up until I started, but I think it was the trees that um, really made things fall apart. I really didn't concentrate enough on the colour in the trees and they're just far too bright. I wanted to keep the colours quite close within these sort of browns and slightly bluer browns. But um, let's leave that for now. I'm not going to glaze over them or anything because it's going to take them darker. And I don't think that will help matters. But I am going to push, I think I'm going to push the values a little darker in certain areas, try and clear up this mid region here and see if we can make things a little better. Okay, so where should we start? I think I'm going to start, I'm going to try and darken up this mid area. It is going into the background, but um, it's a few little little start and I'm also going to put a bit more a few more marks in here to connect this bit down back to the cards again and see if that helps at all and I may even um, I don't know if I really want to get I was going to say I might even take these shadows darker or maybe glaze over and put some extra colour in I don't think I want that much more detail, to be honest. But let's see, maybe some very subtle washes just to lighten the outline windows, maybe. But let's have a go and see if we can sort out this mid stripe. I'm just getting a bit of paper towel out. I'm hoping the sound is okay. It's really cold in here. I've got my heater on, but I've got some uh, noise filters, so it should be okay. I'm just looking for a brush. I have so many brushes, but never the right one. Uh, this one will do. Okay. okay, this is a small one. It's about size eight. Round. I think size size eight rounds in every from every manufacturer are slightly different. So this is probably more like a six, you know, and a lot of brands. Okay, let's let's mix up a warm, a warm brown, kind of this this kind of value. Let's see if we can add some add some detail back in here. And a little more interest. Where the cars are. This may be a terrible mistake. Um, 
I've got nothing to lose, really. Now, one of the problems is, because I made this little space, we don't have anything in here to give us an idea as to what's going on. I'm just going to invent just some marks. I'm just going to see if this will. Tie these two areas together. This little baby car should go away. Let's see if I can make something that looks. I might even just tie this, tie these regions on, and really make these dark areas tie together. I've got a clean brush here, and smoothing out that edge. I'm going to take much lighter value, I've got a lot of water in there. And I'm going to take up some of these lights under the shadows because it will be quite dark in there. There's maybe a little wash of stuff over certain areas. Sometimes these very subtle washes can make a big difference. So I'm just going to make those kind of light but Maybe a little silly that of light outside. I think that does look better, doesn't it? There's still quite a lot of light sparkles on it. I'm going to leave, I can go over that and just put a very light wash just to take that the lightness of the sparkles out. Right, a bit more. Might take slightly bluer, ever so slightly lighter. Okay. Just taking that mid ground slightly darker. These are really choppy marks that are going in there. It's really little, little slivers of light. I'm joining all the darks together just to see if that helps it with depth and I think it is helping it. Yeah, these little V shapes in between the cards, just being kind of careful with those. If I look here, I mean, some of the colors are quite light, but there's quite a lot in shadow there. So, I'm going to water to. Just stop all the edges being very dark. Mm. 
I'm going to make that one just move that one slightly lighter I think dark across the way I'm just going to stand back what I might have to do with this is to make these darker I don't want to lose the nice it's just where the water's just pulled through destroyed the form but still gives you a sense of there's a car now here something kind of empty I think I just take it a little darker let's invent some stuff that's a lamp boost Have a quick look, very laggy on the screen. Again, this is a damp, clean brush, just smoothing out some of those hard edges. I want some hard edges in there, but not too many. It's varying colour. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little warmer. I should say warmer. I'm not allowed to say warmer. I'm trying to resist the temptation. to put too much itty bitty detail and I know this is kind of choppy back here but there's not an awful lot of detail I think we're going to have to even soften that we're going to have to make this slightly darker and then probably darken up this road as well ever so slightly it's going to be very subtle Wow. Yeah, let's put in some trees. You know, it's just the temptation to make them that sapper green, which I thought was pretty subtle when I put it in for this these leaves up here. But apparently it wasn't I'm kind of destroying my splitting up my bristles. Too dark. It's always good to have a plan to just start. This, if it doesn't work, it means it was the wrong plan. You just noodle away with things. If it doesn't work, you're not quite sure what it was you did that didn't work. And the other direction, which is even worse, is that if it does work, you're still not quite sure what you did because you're just noodling away. So my plan was to darken up this, I don't know what you'd call this, mid-ground. see if it would have, this is terrible.
may have to go dark on everything else. I did feel as in the first live stream I was feeling a little bit timid. I need a bigger brush for this. I'm going to go to things in the 12 round. And darken up these. Now, this, this lovely mushy stuff will show through because I, mean, I could put whole could glaze over the whole thing actually. Let's try that. No, I'm getting even bigger brush for that. This is my quill. This is my quill. Right. So anything we put on top of this will add to what's there. So we don't need to mix up the exact value. So I'm gonna cut I'm gonna gauge the value by how it's gonna modify this. It's my purpley grey. Let's put that on. Because this this road is gonna be pretty much the same value as the sky, and it's not. And I always think even if it is. It reads better if it's slightly lower in value. Pulling that brush back and forth, trying not to go back in. A little more blue, I think, would have been nice on there, but it's down now, so I will have to live with that. And it's quite a wet wash, so it will dry that. Just going to glaze over here again. I've got too many, too many white pieces. I didn't, I didn't get my values right. When I was doing it. Really glaze over these sparkles. Yeah, they look very dark on the screen, but I'm gonna let that dry. I might just put it on pause while he dries, and then we'll come back once he's dry and see what else needs to be done. Right, so I'm just popping in on pause. Oh, can I do this with the stream? I don't know. Um, I don't think I can. How do I get to my streaming dashboard? Is there a menu that says streaming dashboard? Hmm. No. Uh, well, there we go. Let's see if this works. I'm going live. I'm hoping it will give me a... Here we are. Here we are. We go. Excellent connection works good. Right. I'm gonna pause. Can I just press this? Pause. I don't know. But if anyone's watching this, this is gonna be a bit odd. So I'll just okay, I'll just sit. I'll just hit sit here. <laughs> It's trying. <laughs> Is there anything else we could be thinking about? No, I don't think I want to make any decisions about. I want to. I think something else needs to go here. But we will see. Oh, do I dare lift this a little bit of blossom coming in here? Let's lift that out a bit. Actually, while I'm here, I think we should be now. I've been playing around. Okay, it hasn't really taken those cars quite as dark as I wanted them to go. So let's try this. Again, this is this perfectly great. If I'm down to a slightly, slightly smaller brush, this is my 12 brown. I think this will. On my screen it looks very dark. I think it's because there's a lot of water in the paint and it makes it look very dark. It dries back much lighter. 
Watercolour dries back much lighter anyway, not much lighter, a valued or so. So it's getting it's kind of getting overworked because I'm going over it and over it, but that's whoops, that's fine for now because we're playing with this. And if we destroy the whole thing, it's okay. I probably will do this one again. I'm getting more of a feel as to how the flow of the values and the shapes goes. Right, I'm just gonna stand back. Yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking this was this was a big mistake as well. Um I'm thinking I'm gonna push the shadows of those buildings darker too. That might also be a big mistake. Yeah, I mean I like the colour. I just wasn't precise enough in my values to get it right. Right, and a little bit of <clears throat> vermilion, a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to just put in a smidgen of cerulean just to take the edge off that, that brightness of the colour. Take the chrome it out. It'll change. It'll change the colours slightly. Let's just try the side of this building. Probably should do something with that roof because that is darker. Right, and I'm putting the paint on. You can see how it runs down. The paint is really quite wet. And don't be afraid of the runs. It's nice and wet the paint. All brush strokes will blend together. Yeah, it's going to be here. Let me just sharpen up. There's some colour down already, so I don't have to be too finicky with it. This definitely needs to go a little darker. Maybe that wasn't dark enough. A bit more blue, and I'm going to do that roof. When the paint, you know it's wet, it, it falls down and it forms this little bead at the bottom. That's usually a good sign. I'm just going to do a sliver of that lighter. I know there's windows in there that are obliterated, but I'm not going to worry about those right now. Okay. I'm going to just let that bleed down into here. I'm going to flag a little bit too. I'm trying to blossom. I'm actually just varying that colour a little bit. It's kind of nice. Right, so let's try here. Just 
Now, in an ideal world, I would have got the first time. I might, I might not even get it right the second time, you'll see. This clock tower from Spire, I suppose. I'm not putting colour everywhere. How does that read? All right, I'm going to stand back again and just have a quick look. I think it is better, Maybe could go just a ten more on top of my armor. Which doesn't help. It's a little bit blue on here. Okay, let's try a bit more dark again. Going back to the eight. I think the darkness in here should carry through. So it's this ultra rain, a bit of a sienna kind of a go to dark ah. mm. go down to the tops of these cars Silence can't be on there. All these little dams of colour to suggest some detail, but just suggesting. Shaking again. I'm just going to pull that colour through and just light a bit so I don't need to be too light. Yes. Reflux in these shadows. Let's go in here. I'm not really painting this, I can't even really see what's there actually. Let's see Mixture. I'm standing back quite a lot. I 
think there is a three in it. Isn't it? I'll have to compare it to the. I took a photo of it before I started just in case everything went hideously wrong. I'll pull that kind of through. And just fade it out at the bottom. Drips. Around, around those people are kind of they're sticking out too much. You may not read as people even from a distance, but they're there. Turning up that vertical. A couple of sparkles that I need to lose. Go through that one. It's amazing how few sparkles you need, especially if they're well, if they're lines. Not if all you need. Okay, all right. Standing back again. Yeah, we have made things here in this. Well, I don't think there's much I can do about that. I don't want to put too much more on the steeple. I do wonder about these windows. They've been put in really quite subtly, but I'm wondering whether they're just too subtle. Subtle is not the word. Sketchily, maybe. Well, if nothing else, I'm I'm learning quite a bit. I need a little more, a few more. Look at this. Slightly darker on the back, so. I'm learning quite a lot from this. What not to do and what to do. Mm -hmm. Get the back of this much more centre over there. Darker. There's a little slivers of light on the cars. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Take out those pieces of white. I'm not showing out my showing that was white on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. This. I'm wondering whether I should darken around there. Yeah, why not? In for a penny. That 
to my cerulean. This is a tie with a slightly bigger pack would be useful. Not worrying about beautiful brush strokes at this point, and just kind of make it read value wise the way I want it to read. So, when I come to do it again, it won't be as much of a trial. I'm going for a few more shadows across the street that I would have. Don't know. Don't know. I'm really thinking through stuff at the moment. Sorry, right, I'm standing back again. Yeah, I'm going to put a few more shadow lines through there. Let's try that. I don't like this stark shape. What can I do in the sketch? Let's look at that. Here it is. Yeah, so in the sketch I had, yeah, that worked better. I had my lamppost and a smaller piece, and I didn't have the, uh, the side of the sidewalk in there. Try this. Still a bit stark, isn't it? Put it through there. Oh, what? What the hell? I'm going to get terrible blossoms for this, but let's see how the values will look. It's actually kind of nice doing this. There's, there's no stress because it's kind of mm, you know, it wasn't great to start with. And I can just play around, try stuff, see what it looks like. I'll try another little um, just just through the top of it. Mm -hmm. 
maybe, maybe. And I'm going to darken the side of the building. It's kind of a nice light to it. Um, but I'm, I'm tempted to put just a little bit more colour on that. I don't want to make it dark. But if I put a bit more colour on it, I'll lose the value contrast. Mm -hmm. Just try, this is pure cerulean. Painting through the trees. Actually, yeah, I'm going to leave that, I'll leave that top one because that's slightly further back. Blend that. So a little bit of a darker line, which I'm not going to have on painting. Okay, standing back again. Right, I'm going to leave that. It's a bit more good. It's not too. It's not so stark in that light area. I'm going to try a little bit with these windows. I'm going to use a square brush for this. Uh, this is a half inch. Oh, it says it's a 10, whatever that means. It looks about a half inch, maybe three eighths. But I'm not going to use very dark paint. I mean, that purpley mix again. Just put a little more, a little more shadow into this. Give me a bit more definition. Although I was no with windows, if you give them too much definition. They make wrong. Bit of a pig's ear of that one. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of very light wash. I'm just changing the value of the front side of these windows, just slightly. There's slightly more in shadow here. The bits of roof below them. It's quite a subtle value change. I can make, if you've got everything else right, I can make a Difference. Yeah, I think that that worked. And also this one here. And this roof piece here, which isn't quite in direct size, I just want to change the value of that slightly. 
Yeah, let's see what I'm going to on the dry back. Let's see if I can just leave the little color of that. Okay. Right. Okay, stand back again. I'm going to use a very pointy brush now. I've used this as a Skoda Perla Synthetic. It's actually quite a bit of 12, but if I dampen it a little, it's very long pointed and because it's a synthetic it doesn't hold that much water and you can get nice crisp detail marks yeah just looking at these windows and I might just put a little bit of just a little bit around the top And just a few marks at the bottom because they have got sills but there are shadows under them trying to keep my perspective functioning how's that i'm going very careful with this because i think one Oh, smooth. And I'll lose the light completely on this front. I'm not sure about that, but no, I lost my perspective. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, a little more value on here. And these are burnt sienna ultramarine things. No, the shadow doesn't actually look like that. Okay, I haven't got anything on these front of this church. I'm debating whether to put anything in or not. Well, first, I'm going to risk putting some extra colour on the front of this, this building. I did say I was going to push it until I'd ruined it. And I may well do. I mean, it's looking pretty rough as it is, but... Uh, Let's try. So uh, I might. This, this is a color I didn't use on them. It's what is it? Daniel Smith Cornet Brown Burnt Orange. I'm just gonna try. I should be using a different brush. I'm just gonna use a different brush. This synthetic does not hold water. I want to take the band down a little bit and they're actually different do my 
dare risk putting in different cards. She says risking putting in different cards. That's pretty embarrassing. It's a bit of a sliver of the lighter stuff up there. I think in here it's likely to be slightly, slightly darker. And when we're here, let's do the front hills. That is so transparent. You can go over all sorts of edges and it won't show. Is that a little white bit? I, to, let me, I need to stand back and see whether that needs to be painted over. But yeah, I think I will. Maybe leave it slightly choppy. There we go. Right now, what next? Tempted to put more of these windows in because it's getting kind of busy now, and I'm feeling since it's busy already, I may as well go the full hog. Um, I'm also wondering should there be more value? Changing there. Mm -hmm. No. All right. So let's let's put a bit more in this right hand building. I wanted to keep it pretty, pretty nondescript, but now it's looking a little flat. Uh, I'm gonna. Imagine a quinacridone, with an orange, and a little bit of cerulean. This is really still quite, quite pale. In these shadows, <clears throat> now I'm not putting them up here. I know there isn't one, is there one? Oh, no, there kind of is actually. I'm not doing a full, well, I'm leaving bits. That perspective work, I think it did. Let's put in. Oh, there isn't another one, so let me put in another one up here. All right, we're standing back again. Yeah, I think, actually, I, think, I think it could take it now. Well, this is a little punchier. I think it could take it. Let's see if we can. Get it in the same windows. I 
I sometimes like to put these windows in wet and wet whilst the, the warm colour is drying. I'm just going to smoosh. I need to destroy those. Soften. Just break up those lines just a little bit. These ones down here. These are closer to us. It's going to have a little more, a little more punch. A little more detail. I think I may be destroyed for too much. No, it's white now, so now I can't do anything. Right, step back. Touch up. I'm just going to put a very light wash. Of cerulean over this. Yeah, I just like these too much. Let me stand back. The bits I like and the bits I don't like. I'm not going to touch the trees, I don't think. Let me just put a little bit of yeah, a bazillion over these signs. I went in very quickly at the end. Now with the orange. Is there anyone there? I think it was that a sign, it is now. Okay. I think a bit more detail on these look quite so dear. I'm getting I'm not gonna to touch this, I don't think. We could indicate a few things, but I don't want it to start fighting with with what's there. Although I did say I was gonna push it, so we could do. <laughs> Just want a little bit a little bit more detail on this. Is it is it a portico? It might be a portico. Just to give the columns a little bit more shape at the top. I'm 
Just looking at the shadows and how they go. I think we should. The full shadow on the right hand side, we don't have. And the light wash. When I did the shadow upright, I didn't. I left gaps. I'm going to attempt to. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got the light wash of shadow and gaps. Put a shadow at the bottom. So I'm not moving quite how I want, and I haven't got much room in here. So I'm going to line across. Getting to the point where I can't really see things when I put them in. Let's see if it's actually darker. Should I make that darker? So I'm just going to put a bit more colour on this front. I just want it to have a slight variation. Sometimes you want, maybe not that orange. Sometimes you want a beautifully even wash. Sometimes it's nice to have just a bit of variation in there. A bit there. I know to try putting in very small amounts of detail at the front of this. Just, just indicate the stuff going on. And this one up here, there's some twiddly bits actually. I do like a good twiddly bit. I have no idea what that is. It's almost like a bird's nest, but I guess we'd be correct. Trying to even out those marks I put on the side. Should do that. Let's do this clock. Clocks can be difficult if you start putting in all sorts of bits of detail. They don't read well. So I'm just indicating this. There's some stuff on there. Okay. Well, 
else. I know people say you should stop when you start looking around. Other things to do. But that's what we're doing today. So. Right, I'll stand back again. I think, I think I'm close to just putting in some uprights and <clears throat> some spectrum right okay there's a little line across here might give it just a bit more a bit more suggestion detail right okay now I'm going to put in a few traffic lights, miscellaneous holes, maybe this flat pole should go in as well, it's not actually there, there's a traffic light here. Which I'm just going to indicate, I'm not even going to join the top of it onto the pole. Um, I think there's a few back here. Let's put one here. They're not in the right place, but I don't care. Probably actually, they're not. Oh no, not too bad, perspective wise. And then there's actually another street down there. So let's put four. Put him back here. I'm leaving little gaps. Try not to mess this up, shall we? It's easy to overdo this. Coming on over there. Miscellaneous dark things. These are just dark accents that I'm using to create a sense of stuff. These people didn't really come out well, did they? They just look as though they're getting stuck in bad. Maybe I should have another dark bit here. Yeah. Not sticky a bit. Um, sometimes little bits and bobs on the tops of buildings. These don't seem to have any. But doesn't mean we can't put them in. Mm -hmm. 
might not be able to pull up. Stops the buildings have been too stark. I really am looking at me. What can I do now? Don't do this. This is not a good thing. This does this does not good painting smoke. It's darkening up the windows at the tops. Just perspective for this. There we go. Right. Let's give it a little. Okay. Right, standing back. Almost. Almost at the end. Yeah, I've lost some of the definition between this roof and what's up with the front? Oh, I'm going to take that off. That's a bit better. There's a few spots of colour. Most of these traffic lights are green, which they can't possibly be because this is Boston. There are never green traffic lights. So I'm just mixing a bit of opaque colour. So I have to put a little few dib dabs, sparkles. Yeah, that's better. All oh, traffic lights are red, which they always are. I'm going to use a few slight indications of colour. Really easy to do this. Just to bring that little bit of the bearish variation in these detail bits. I don't even know if this one has much of an effect.
and risk. It's a little bit on top, so it's coming. I did actually know. Uh, uh, this can stay in theory. Right, there's this nasty little piece over here, but you know, I'm going to have to live with that. Okay, let's try and push him back and darken it. I'll take some of that red out. I'm going really quite bold with now, which is very dangerous. <laughs> I really am almost done now. Okay, that one last thing, just that flag off. I'm not putting this in in black or even anything that's really quite dark. Again, these dark straight lines really draw the eye. Maybe they don't need to be very dark. Maybe a little darker than that. That's what I would say, I mean. So a little bit of pink and white. Take my shirt and just a little bit. I think that flag is just showing up just a little bit too light. It's a very light wash of cerulean. If you take out, I don't want it to be the main event. Well, okay. Let's set my stand back. One last. Hmm. Still not sure. Still not sure. But I'm not. I am going to stop now. These windows are obviously giving me all sorts of trouble.
and yeah, you know, I've gone over it so many times it's it's looking terribly overworked, but I'm fairly happy now with the overall value balance. And when I come and do it again, which I will do, I'm hoping I can be a little more bold and get these things right first time. Well, let me just, it's not quite all in shot to see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well that's that's it for finishing off this painting. Let me just put me back on the camera. So I said I was going to push it. I didn't know whether I was going to ruin it or, or well, I thought I was going to ruin it actually. Um, I don't think I have ruined it. I've learned a lot. Uh, increasing the value balance, especially across this middle piece. Putting lots of little darks in, not actually painting things, it's, I think it's really increased the sense that this is a this is a street. Still have to work out what to do with this left hand side. And these trees are still not the best thing. But I think on balance, um it's not a bad job. So I'll be posting this and um I hope hope you find it useful. Okay, see you next time. Thank you for watching.